In this video, we'll learn how we can customize the issue types in our team manage project. So right now, if we create a new issue in the project that we just created, we only can create a task and an epic. But what if we wanted to create something more, maybe like a story issue type? Remember, that's kind of part of the Kanban template. Well, we can come in here in the project settings under issue type. And when we add an issue type over here on the left side menu, you can see that because we picked that Kanban template, it still has some of those templates for the issue types kind of created for us. So if we wanted a story issue type, all we have to do is to click on the story, click on add, and now we have our story issue type that if we come in here and click on create, we can see we can create this story issue type and all those fields down below are gonna to change to whatever the fields are that we select. And that leads right into the next part, as you can probably imagine, right over here from the left side to the right side, it's kind of how this screen works is left to right. We can see all the different fields that we have on the story issue type, and we can change whatever we want. So we could add in suggested fields if we want to. So say we, we do want a due date on this, right? Go ahead and click on save changes. And now if we come in and create a new story, we'll see that this now has a due date associated with it. If this is something that we need to show up in the calendar view, things like that. Now, we could just leave it at that with the, that can be as simple as it is. But what's really cool about this is we can take this to the next level and really further customize this beyond the templates that Jira has for us. So for our purposes today, the project is all about our team developing a podcast app. So beyond the tasks and stories, we can create whatever sort of issue type we want. Maybe we want a way to track new feature requests. So let's add in a new issue type, create issue type instead of using one of the suggested ones. And let's just give it a name. Let's say this is our new feature. Add in requests for new features in the app. And then we can change the icon. We can have one if we already have one that we've created. We can do that. Or we can use one of these that Jira has built in, maybe for new feature, new idea. Maybe a light bulb would be a good icon for that. Let's go ahead and select that. Click on Create. And now with this new feature issue type, as you can imagine, we can Create, and it's going to show up here. But now let's customize some of the fields that we have. Right, so we can pull in some of these suggested fields here, but what if we wanted to actually create a new one? So you can see actually from my research, let's create this feature location, but rather than create, just pulling this over that I've already created, let's pull in a drop down, give it a name, and we can say, okay, what are some locations that this new feature might be at? So maybe the now playing screen, Podcast library page, the settings page, the discover new shows page, playlist, some of the common areas that would be in an app. And then we can choose what is going to be the default one that's selected when you choose this drop down. We'll see that in a second. Let's say, just so it's not the top or the bottom, let's make it the settings page kind of in the middle here. And we could rearrange this if, if we wanted to, of course. If we didn't want it in the middle, we can rearrange all of those. Now, before we save our changes, I do want to point out here at the very bottom, we can make this a required field. If somebody were to create a new feature issue type and try to actually create that without using this field, it would, be, it would not allow it to do that, just like the summary is required that we looked at earlier. And actually, let's go ahead and see that in action. So I'll click on required, save changes. And now that's been created for us. So let's see it in action here. Come into new feature. And we'll see our feature location is chosen actually as the settings page as the default, even though it's right in the middle, we can see that in action as well. And then of course, as you could imagine, if we were to create an awesome feature, have the settings location and try to create it here, because this is set as the default, it will actually let us create that. You notice that right? If you want to change that and force the user to actually uh, do that or select one, then we can clear that default. And now if we come in here 
Another awesome feature. And now if we try to create, it won't let us because that's required. So that's something I want to point out when it comes to creating new fields. If you have required and then you also have a default, it kind of overrides the required. So that's just something to keep in mind as you're working. Now, as you can see, there's a lot more than just drop downs that we can do when we add fields to our issue types. So I'd encourage you to take some time as you're setting up your team managed project to figure out what fields your team needs to track what types of things that you're going to be tracking in your project, right? So what issues do you need and the issue types, I should say, that you need and then the fields underneath them that are going to contain the information that you want on the issues. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.